Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Elite Pulse and Graphics. Uh, we'll do a Photoshop tutorial today on how to take a regular old uh, picture with a, a crappy disposable camera and go ahead and make it look like a professional grade photo. What we've got here is just some pictures, some ugly character in the background. We're going to go grab our uh, selection tool, quick selection tool, and go ahead and highlight just the ugly guy in the picture. Um, okay, we've got him selected. Well, just make sure we want both hands. And, um, the crazy cat in the background that I just noticed, that's really scary. That's not part of the tutorial. We can show you how to do that later. Anyway, so we've got the ugly guy selected here. We're going to hit Control-Shift-I. That's going to reverse our section, so now it's actually going to uh, highlight the background area. I'm pointing at the monitor while I'm doing this, too, just in case you couldn't see me. Um, now that we have that highlighted in the background, we're going to go ahead and hit Control C to copy it, and then Control V, which is open up a new layer over here with just the background. You see? And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go up to Filter. We're going to use our Blur tool. We're going to use a Gaussian Blur. You can use any of the blurs. I just prefer the Gaussian. It's a quick one. Um, you can play with the different options yourself and try them out. But obviously, right off the bat, you can see how it got blurry. We're, we're straight back on 0 0.01 pixels, but as we move it, you'll start to see it gets blurrier and blurrier each step. I kind of like it around 12. Um, each picture is different. Um, you will notice that the more that you play with it, um, the more it'll refine the edge around your actual um, ugly person picture or good looking person, depending on whose picture you're working on. Um, we're going to go ahead and stay around the pixels on there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the original background layer. What I want to do now is I want to add some kind of um, color toning to it. So we're going to go up to image up here and go to adjustments and then we're going to go ahead and click on photo filter. I'm going to change this color here and to like a grayish color. Um, doesn't really matter. You can play with it. Obviously if I wanted to do a, a pink color it will turn everything pink depending on how much uh, luminosity I put in it. Um, we're going to go ahead just for this one. Go ahead and put a gray in there. Kind of just gray it out, dull it up a little bit. Um, that looks good there. And we're going to go back up into that layer and um, our image and go to adjustment. Go to our brightness contrast. Now remember, we're selected on the background layer again. Click brightness. We'll go ahead and brighten this up a little bit. This is where you'll start to notice. I brighten it up. Around the head up here, you can actually see where it's not blurring and it's still showing a hard edge. Um, you'll just have to feather it and play with that Gaussian blur. We're going to go ahead and bring this up to about there. Now we've got the basics. The background's put out. We've got our overlay of color and we've got, we brighten up the actual image itself. So now it actually looks like there's some 3D depth to the picture and the camera's actually focused on the subject aka the ugly dude in the picture. Now that we've got that down we're going to go ahead and get a new layer up there. We're going to hit control shift N and we're going to name it star and get a star in there. Now this is where we're going to get a little tricky. We're going to zoom in not that far. It's going to get scary here for a second because um, you've got to be really close on the face. I mean you could do it on a different part of the body and just move this. What we're going to do is we're going to use a round elliptical marquee tool and go ahead and just get an oval shape. I don't know how good you're ever going to be able to see that on this video, but there's an elliptical shape. Now grab a brush, grab just a basic um, brush um, with a soft blur. Uh, your pixels, it all depends on what size brush you want to use. I just go so that's a perfect circle, kind of looks like an eyeball, and hit it once in the middle, move over a little bit, and hit it on either side of the middle. Now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and create our regular tool again, move tool, and hit control D to deselect it. Now we just have a halo. What we'll go ahead and do is hit control T and we will resize this. We're going to squish this all the way down and um, it's a little tricky in there if, you're, if your mouse is sensitive. But um, go ahead and hit enter. See we still want it a little bit a little more squished. Not too squished but about like that. Go ahead and control T. Grab it and drag it over to one of the eyeballs here. You might have to hit enter and actually use your O keys to get it a little bit closer. 
Um, zooming in is definitely an option, especially when you're working with uh, further away pictures. I kind of didn't think of that when I started this tutorial. Should use a little close up. Um, go ahead and resize it to whatever you want. Um, whatever looks natural. Every picture is going to be different. We'll go ahead and change it on an angle there. And we'll move it over. Now what we're going to do is try to center it right up on the eyeball. And then go over to the star again and hit duplicate layer. Duplicate the layer, name it star copy. Hit your control key, T key, and turn it. And you go ahead and hit enter. Give it an opposite effect like that in 45 degrees. Go ahead and hit over control, hold control on both the stars. And go ahead and hit convert to a smart object. Now that we're at a smart object and we have one star, you can notice it's movable by just clicking it. If I would have clicked it right, it would be movable. Um, but what we're going to work on now is the star copy. Let's go ahead and do another layer of that. And we'll go ahead and let's move this other one to the other eye there. Again, it um, doesn't matter. We can just play with it. You, know, you might not want the stars in your eyes. That's fine. Um, that's how I roll, though. Go turn down the opacity levels so that they're not, like, really bright. You might want to go ahead and... Uh, I don't know, make one bigger than the other and uh, play with it there. Um, I think the opacity level is a little too light on that. Turn it up. There we go. Now if you zoom out, you really can't see far away, but when you start there, you'll actually start to see that there's actually some kind of glare in the eyes. We have her like that. Now we'll go ahead and um, do a professional style watermark. We'll walk you through that. Go ahead and type here. I'm going to type uh, the publishings. If I can get my fingers to work right. And graphics. And um, go ahead and just grab your regular move tool key. Um, resize that to whatever you want. And now you're in business. Set this over here like this. Make your watermark, and then to make your watermark real, change your opacity levels down to whatever you feel comfortable with. 40 works great. That way, uh, your clients can't take your pictures or pay for them without taking them, or take them without paying for them, whatever you want. And um, you're all set. That's how we did it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Come back and check us out later for uh, more updates.